Welcome to our second video. This video we would like to show you how to import the data from Microsoft Excel to the eView. Firstly, let's open the data in Microsoft Excel file. You should set the data in, in the vertical line. If your data are in the horizontal line, you have to select all the data and then copy. If your data are in the horizontal line, you have to select all the data and then copy and then paste by transpose. Now let's open the eView. We have to create the new work file by select file, then new and select new work file. You will see many categories. First, Undated data is for cross-sectional data. You have to select number of observations. Second, dated is for time series. And third, balanced panel is for pooling data. It is the combination of time series and cross-sectional data, which we will show how to import pooling data in the next video. Our data CDP is the time series. You have to choose dated. Then go to the frequency. In frequency, there are many categories such as annual, monthly, quarterly. The one you have to choose is quarterly. In start date, date box, you have to type 1995 Q1, which means first quarter of year 1995. And in the end date, date box, you have to type 2012 Q1, which means first quarter of 2012. All of the observations since 1995 to 2012 are 69 observations and, it, and, it, uh, and then you have to click OK. It will start create your work file. In the work file, there will be a constant variable which will appear as a letter C. A residual will appear as resid. Now we are going to add more variable. You have to select object and choose new object. Then in type of object box, select series, then put the name. In the name for object box, you in this case, CDP represents as Y. After that, click OK. Now Y will appear in our work file. But we have six variables in total, so we have to create the new object six times, which are consumption represent as CO. Investment represent as I. Government expenditure represent as G. Export represent as X. And import represent as M. In each variable, there is no data, so now we are going to add the data in. But you have to hold the control button and select the data in the same order as in the Excel file, which is Y, C, O, I, G, E, M. Then right click, then select open. Then click on S group. Now we can see the data are on horizontal line and the data in the same order as in Excel file. So now we have to copy the data from Excel file. and click edit in eView and select paste now all of your excel data are in eView program please find the next video about how to estimate the data by OLS